Hey there, I want to show you Scout. It's a search and organization tool for Reaper that I wrote, and it makes finding and using all your FX, Reaper actions, and tons of other stuff incredibly fast and efficient. Let's start by showing off some of the coolest features, and then we'll dive deeper into the workflow. Say I'm in a mastering session, and I'm looking for a compressor. I have my go-to stuff, of course, but let's try to see if I can find something unexpected. Let's press tab to search for filters. And here I can see all the tags I already marked my FX with. So let's look for a compressor. Hmm, that's obviously not narrow enough, so let's look for things geared toward mastering. Alright, now I'm not looking for anything too surgical, so let's exclude everything marked with precise by holding command or control on a PC. Okay, not too bad, but it's still a pretty long list. We can do better. We have a setting to make sure we only see the VST3 version, or whatever version I prefer. Let's set that, and now, as long as we have those versions available, we'll only see them. If we don't, we'll see the next one in line. So good, we're down to five options. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. So let's have Scout load a random result from that list. We can also press Command R, or Control R on a PC. I like that. Let's rate it five stars. Let's also create a preset for this filter. Let's call it Colorful Mastering Compressors. Now we can load it, just like that. But we can also assign a magic word to it. Let's make it CMC for Colorful Mastering Compressors. Now, whenever I type CMC and space, the filter gets loaded. Let's clear the filter, and I'll show you something even cooler. If I type CMC and a question mark, it loads a random result from that filter. Those magic words, by the way, most of them are only available in Scout Plus, the paid version of Scout. And now, let's say there's something I do often, like maybe grab an 1176. I already made a tag for all my 1176s. It's a lot, I know. Let's create a custom Reaper action, call it random 1176, and set it to load filter and run random result. Export it. There it is. And now let's assign a keyboard shortcut for it. And now, I don't even have to have Scout open. I just hit my shortcut, and there's a random 1176. Here's another one, and another one. You get it. Okay, loading FX is nice, but we can do a lot more. Let's select a reverb. And now, let's create a send from our selected track to a new track with a reverb on it by pressing Shift and Enter. Let's add some delays. Hmm, I see I have three delays that I marked as favorites. Let's select them all and press Shift, Command and Enter, or Shift, Control and Enter on a PC, and that will load each one on its own track. And by the way, if I don't remember what anything does, I can always look down here, or just right-click an item and see everything that I can do with it. Alright, but what about instances where I want to control the order of effects? Let's build a vocal chain. I'll open the Quick Chain panel by clicking here, or by pressing Command, Shift and K. Let's take an 1176, an LA-2A, you know what, I want a FabFilter Pro-Q4 before those, and another one after them. And let's take some Spectral Dynamics, Soothe is good, and a de -esser. Yep. And now, since there's a quick chain loaded, if I press Enter, the whole thing gets put on my track. Now we can save that as a quick chain preset. Let's call it Dream Vocal Chain. We can also add a magic word. Let's make it DVC for Dream Vocal Chain. Let's clear the quick chain by clicking here or by pressing Option K. And now, whenever we type DVC and space, we get the Dream Vocal Chain. Again, the magic word is only for Scout Plus users. Of course, that all sounds kind of like FX chains or track templates, which we can use Scout to find, but we can do some other stuff with this. Let's clear that again. And now let's create an FX palette for my mixes. Let's get a reverb that's marked with plate. This time I'll add things by pressing Command K, which is faster. 
a spring reverb. Hey, I wrote something about that. Super vibey. All right, let's go with that. Let's add two delays and a harmonizer. There we go. Now, before creating our sends, let's create a Reaper action. This time, I want the action to send my selected tracks to new tracks with the quick chain FX on them. Let's call it FX Tracks Starter. There it is. And now I can select all the tracks in my mix, run my action, and I have five new tracks and all my tracks are already sending to those effects. How easy is that? Oh, by the way, exporting to Reaper Actions, yeah, that's for Scout Plus users. Now let's talk about how to really organize your stuff. As you probably got by now, the power of Scout comes from tagging. So let me show you how to build a system that actually works for you. Let's start off with a clean slate. And first, let's create some tags. I'll click this plus button here to create a new tag. Let's call this one Dynamics. This is my main category for compressors, limiters, gates, all that stuff. Notice I can pick a color for it. I'll make it a nice pink so it stands out. Now I can drag any effects onto this tag to mark it. Let's drag this 1176 onto Dynamics. Boom, it's tagged. I can drag multiple things at once too. I can also drag the tag to my selected items. But here's where it starts to get powerful. I can nest tags. Let me create a nested tag under Dynamics called Compressor. And under that, I'll create FET for my FET style compressors. Let's tag my 1176 with a FET tag. Now I have a hierarchy. When I click Dynamics, I see everything. When I click Compressor, I see just compressors. And when I click FET, I see only my FET compressors like the 1176. So actually, it's enough to tag my 1176 with just the FET tag. Let's remove the Dynamics tag. If I hold Option while dragging, the tag will be removed. Or I can Option click the tag itself. All right. In this instance, I already have a lot of tags, so let me show you a much quicker way to do that. Let's stay with this 1176, and this time we'll hit Command T to open the Quick Tag window. All my tags are right here. I just choose the ones I want. Let's select Vocals, because it's great on those, and maybe Drums too. Let's also tag it as Aggressive. Now let's add a tag for the manufacturer. It doesn't exist yet, but no worries, I can do it from here. I could select Create New Tag named Ure, but I want it to be nested inside Manufacturers. So let's select Create a New Tag named Ure inside. And now let's look for Manufacturers, Enter, Done. Quick Tag, by the way, is also only available in Scout Plus. So other than Quick Tag, a quick way to get started is by going to the Settings window, to the Tag and User Data section, and converting Reaper's FX folders and categories to tags. That will give you a great head start on organizing. That's also only for Scout Plus users. Well, now that we have lots of tags, that can be quite an eyesore. Let's hide those new tags. We can still use them for filtering, but we don't have to see them all the time. And also, if I drag tags to other tags and hold Command and Shift, I can merge tags together. Or I can copy items from one tag to another if I just hold Shift. But tags are not everything. Let's talk about the other metadata you can add in Scout Plus. I can rate anything from 1 to 5 stars. I can also add notes for things that are not exactly tags, but perhaps more unique. Maybe I want to remember that this plugin, mCompare, is great for comparing to references. Let's add a note and write just that. Now if I search for references, this shows up and the note is even highlighted. I can hover over it and see what it says. Hmm, great for comparing to references. Interesting. Here's another thing that makes finding things pretty difficult in other places. Plugins have many formats and some have many variants. Mono, stereo, multi-channel, etc. This makes the results cluttered. And it also makes tagging all versions of a plugin a pain. In the settings window, first under results order, we can see how our results are sorted. 
so we can see that VST3s come before VSTs, and that stereo variants are preferred over mono variants. This all affects the sorting, but we can also check out item settings and select to only see the highest priority FX type and variant. And now, there's way less clutter. But that doesn't solve having to tag all variants and FX types. Well, here's something really cool that I can do with Scout Plus. I tagged the VST3 version of this SPL Vitalizer plugin. Now I can sync those tags to the other versions by right-clicking and selecting Sync Metadata Across Identical Effects. And just like that, no duplicate work. I can also copy metadata from one item and paste it to another. Super handy when you're organizing similar plugins. And if there's something I never want to see, I can hide it by right-clicking and selecting Hide. It disappears from my results, but doesn't get deleted. I can always unhide it later, I'll show you how. I've hidden some effects that I never use and stuff whose trial periods are done. Now, let's dive into filtering, because this is where you can really dial in exactly what you want to see. The simplest way is using these menus. I can filter by type, by format, by folder, by category, or by developer. By the way, notice there's a magic word for the type filters? That works in the regular version of Scout. So that if I'm looking for a track, I can just press T and space, and now I'm only seeing tracks. Same goes for tags. If I hover over a tag, I can see that plus and minus signs. We'll talk about the minus sign in a second, but if I just hit plus, there it is. I only get results tagged by this tag. But there's a faster way to do all that. Let me press tab to enter filter search mode. Now I can type plugin alliance and hit enter. Boom, only plugin alliance plugins. Tab, compressor. Let's select this tag, but this time I'll click shift and enter because I want to stay in this window. Now I'll show you why tags are where the real power is. Let's say I don't want to see channel strips. Let's search for my channel strip tag and press Command plus Enter. Now I'm excluding anything tagged as a channel strip. See that minus sign? That means it's an exclusion filter, unlike compressor, which is inclusive. To clear filters, I can click this X button or hit Command L to clear everything all at once. There are also some special filters down here. Recently added shows new stuff that were added recently. Does that happen to you? You install something new and then a week later you completely forget about it? Well, not anymore. Untagged helps me find things I haven't organized yet. Looks like I still have some work to do. With Notes shows everything I've written notes about. And Hidden shows me those pesky things I hid in case I need to get them back. The Settings window is full of little ways to customize everything about Scout. I encourage you to go over all the settings. Notice that whenever I hover over a setting, or anything in Scout really, there's a little explanation down here. And some more complicated things have this question mark that helps me understand what the setting is. Go over the keyboard shortcuts and spend some time customizing and memorizing them. The tags and user data section is really helpful. We already covered converting to tags, but the import and export buttons are huge. Look at all this metadata I have. Thousands of tagged plugins, ratings, notes. I can export this entire organization system and import it to another machine. My studio and my laptop can have identical setups. Importing and exporting plus converting to tags are all only available in Scout Plus. There's still a lot to unpack, but I think we covered most of what's possible for now. If there's still something you're not sure about, there's a handy help window right there where you can also see all available actions sorted by item type and also look at all the magic words you defined. Oh, and two more things. There's a neat minimal mode that has a much smaller footprint and of course, you can always dock scout if you want. That's it for now.